Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for weekly automotive mechanical content for the average shade tree mechanic. All right, guys, so in this video, uh, I wanted to just propose an idea for y'all. I know most of us have step rails. Uh, sometimes uh, we go through maybe a couple sets, three sets before we are kind of like, all right, yeah, these are the ones I want. These are the ones I like. They're not rusting. They've been hit, but they don't have any dents. You know, and so uh, for those out there, and I, I know I have a lot of subscribers out there that do a lot of work themselves and whatnot. I just have an idea for y'all if y'all want to take it uh, and use it. Cool. If not, it's just one thing that uh, that I'm doing to just uh, help set, shed some light on just uh, uh, another idea that you could do. And that's actually painting your step rails. All right. So before I actually get into that, I have some, some things I want to go over before showing you the actual process of what I'm doing and they're literally just right behind me on a pair of jack stands. I was originally, uh, well if you haven't seen my video about uh, going from white and chrome to white and black, um, I'll go ahead and post that link right up there. But that pretty much stemmed my thought process on taking off my chrome step rails. Uh, now I bought the step rails when I first bought the truck a year ago and so uh, I rocked them for a year, took them off because they had some chrome. I wanted to buy some new ones, so I was supposed to buy, uh, sell them. Oh, excuse me, I got some allergies out here, even though it's a beautiful day. Uh, so I was about to sell them, and then I was, you know, uh, about to take some photos to post them up for sale online. And they were like, uh, I don't know, I just had a thought, you know, what if I just paint them? And I know my buddy Rhino lined um, or bed lined his grill he painted that instead of plastic dipping so i gave that a thought uh did some research i thought it could uh, actually work out and so right now it's uh just drying out before i do a final touch on the front and then i'm just going to turn them over uh, after a two hour waiting period to do the bottom portion of the step rails so that's why i'm painting i want to go to white and black and i think they're going to look awesome especially you know say if doors open uh they'll hit the step rails first before even touching my doors uh, that's one reason why I want step rails plus it just got old you know trying to hop in these trucks are pretty tall uh, they're pretty high off the ground uh, I literally had to like pick up my mom put her in the back and then help her get down without any step rails so I'm done with that some don't like the look of step rails that's cool uh, but for me I want them so I did some research you want to go with the rust-oleum all right and I think I have a can right here so I'm actually doing this two different ways all right but if you do end up using the spray paint use the rust-oleum instead of the duplicate color all right don't use the duplicate color I think there's it's, it's been on several forums and they're like nah stick to the rust-oleum spray and then there's an actual uh, rust-oleum roll-on paint that you could actually buy and roll it on all right guys, so if you can check that out, this is what it looks like. Just a quart, 32 fluid ounce. And the reason why I'm going the roll-on paint, well, I actually painted one with the Rust-Oleum. On the stainless steel, it really needs a little more something to grasp on and to build on. Um, so with stainless steel, it's really easy to run uh, the paint. All right, so when you spray it, it runs super easy. All right, I managed to not get a lot of running for the paint. Um, but then I accidentally dropped it and it chipped a little bit. So I know it wasn't fully cured, but that was way too easy uh, for the paint to actually chip. So I ended up picking up a can and I'll go ahead and post the links to these uh, down below. Now for a lot of step rails, yeah, I think the spray would work, but I want something that will be durable, last a long time. And that's where the roll-on Rust-Oleum bed liner paint comes into play. All right, so one thing I also did was put the bolts, and I'll go ahead and post a photo. I just grabbed some cardboard, put all the bolts, took all the rust off because a lot of those step, step row bolts, Nerf bar, whatever you want to call them, there's like a million words for these things. They rust out a little bit, and you could see them. And so short people probably see them a little better. If you're tall, you can probably overlook them, but these bolts kind of stick out uh, right above the step rails where they're mounted. So I just put them on uh, some cardboard took the rust off, kind of sc uh, scraped them down, and then painted them black. So just one idea to keep in mind if you're actually gonna do this process. I already mentioned why I'm doing the step rails, why I'm actually painting them. Uh, bought them for a good deal about a year ago. I've had them off for a month, 
and they're just I, I need my step rails back it's just easier to get in get out of the truck easier for the wife no kids yet but i'm sure it'd be a pain for them to get in they'd have to like literally use um i don't know some some kind of ladder fathers who drive these trucks i'm sure you have step rails for your kids you understand essentially go the more so cost efficient route to actually just paint them uh, instead of actually just buying some new ones. And I, I had my eye on some $300, $320 running boards, but I figured, you know, why, why not just spend like 40 bucks, grab some paint, grab some materials, and try and paint them. So let me go ahead and show you what I've done. For some other processes and projects that I've done, I like usually taking you step by step of it so that you can get a more in depth. But for something like this, uh, it's pretty much cut and dry. I'd rather just go through the process and then talk through it as I show you what's going on with the step rails. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so here are the two step rails. Just washed the truck. It's looking beautiful. Anyways, try and shine the light on these. As you can see, yeah, I love that texture of the roll-on paint on these step rails. So these are gonna look beautiful. Um, so first thing I did was actually used a, say a Scotch-Brite pad and some, what is it, 120 and 80 grit sandpaper. Went ahead and uh, sanded the stainless steel. These were originally stainless steel first. Um, and then used some paint prep spray again. Uh, another reason to get that paint prep, and I'll go ahead and post that link in the description. I originally used it to ceramic coat my wheels, but I keep finding uh, things to use that paint prep spray uh, with various projects. So you wanted to sand them down so they can grip onto something, and then I spray painted them first with the Rust-Oleum. Now this one I paint, I spray painted. This one I went straight onto the roll-on. So we'll see which one really holds together. This one I accidentally dropped, chipped a little bit. So I was like, ah, why, why even paint? Wait for it to dry, and then throw on the roll-on paint. So. This one just has the roll-on paint. This one has the spray paint and the roll-on. Again, I would suggest um, probably roll-on if you're doing stainless steel. But if something's a little more uh, gritty uh, for your running boards, I'd probably just, just use the spray. All right, so after sanding the stainless steel portion, I went ahead, used some painter's tape, and taped around the step portions of the rails. As you can see, blue painter's tape all across. Make sure it wraps under, and then you also have to ensure that you're getting enough of the paint uh, underneath, somewhat underneath the step portion so that there's no chrome showing, obviously. When it comes to painter's tape, obviously, yeah, one kind of looks okay. The other one, I don't know what the hell I was doing, but um, yeah, a waste of painter's tape. But anyways, yeah, that's essentially it. So for these, these are the arms sanded them down too and then I used the roll-on paint for these so they look super good now the reason why I didn't go Hercule liner is because I hate the look of that once it dries up I wanted something that looks a little more professional uh, it's rugged the Hercule liner looks like some goop and if all you got to do is just look at some photos of Hercule liner once it's dry and you understand what I'm talking about all right guys, so here are the bolts that I was talking to you about earlier. Cardboard, made some holes, stuck them through. That's it. All right, so one last thing, I, what I wanna leave you with is um, what, why, another reason why you want some step rolls. I'll go ahead and post some photos up right here and just talk through it. Uh, but there's a lot, and I do have the factory mud flaps too, but there's a lot of, of uh, stuff, dirt, rocks, still get kicked up onto the lower portion of the truck. And so what those photos are showing are just some grime, rocks that have been kicked up, left some marks, chipped some of the paint. And so if I had my step rails, and that's only with a month of a step rails off of the truck, then I probably would have had a whole lot less um, gunk. I had some tar on there too and some, some chips. If I didn't have that, um, they probably would hit the bottom of the step rails. And I'm fine with that. We don't really care about it. But when it comes to our paint of our truck, yeah, we care about that. So just uh, one reason why you want, want to throw on some step rails. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and let me know below. Check out this video right here before watching another one. That would be great. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, until next time, ciao. Perfect.